Our lives are composed of days. They pile on one after the next. And if we're honest, most of us would admit we don't use each one as well as we could. Maybe you've tried to micromanage your time and force yourself into a robotic routine, but that only makes you feel more trapped. Instead, gently encourage yourself to make better use of your day by asking yourself the following questions. What would my best self do today? Envisioning the best version of yourself can be a powerful motivator. However, simply imagining that person is more challenging than it sounds. Once you've imagined them, it's difficult to turn that idealized person into something concrete. Here's a better way to approach this exercise. Ask yourself what your best self would do with the day ahead. How would they use this time? Where would they go? What would they accomplish and how? You should know instinctively. What's the best thing that could happen for me today? By imagining what the best possible thing that could happen to us would be, we can prime ourselves to experience it. In this mindset, the best possible outcome is often the most likely outcome. Maybe it's that you finally got a long, much-needed nap. Maybe it's that you enjoyed a quiet walk outside. Maybe it's that you finished a project and it wasn't as tiresome as you feared. Figure out what your best possible outcome is from the onset. Keep it in mind throughout your day. What can I do better than yesterday? Growth happens incrementally. We don't wake up one day and completely change our behavior. Instead, each day we focus on being just 1% better than we were the day before. Think of one thing, however small it might be, that you may be able to do better today than yesterday. Perhaps it's how you relate to your partner or kids, stepping away from work at a reasonable hour, or cooking that meal you said you would. These micro-improvements will eventually change your life. What small step can I take today to fix a big problem? The biggest problems in our lives exist because they feel or seem unsolvable. In reality, they're just more complex or time-consuming to solve. Ask yourself what steps you could take today to chip away at one of your biggest goals or an issue that's bothering you. Perhaps it's debt repayment, a relationship you want to improve, or your health and wellness. Don't worry about fixing everything in 24 hours. Instead, worry about which minor shifts you can make with the day ahead. These shifts, small as they might be, have the potential to impact your life for years to come. What must I get done today? While we're imagining all of our long-term aspirations and the steps we'll take to reach them, we must not forget the essentials, the tasks we must accomplish today to make those far-off goals possible. Attending to the essentials will allow you to prioritize correctly and stay on schedule. The truth is that we can't do it all at once, but if we prioritize one thing at a time, we can get it all done sooner than we think. What am I doing for the most important person in my life today? Who is the most important person or people in your life? Even if that person is you, what are you doing for them today? It doesn't have to be a massive sacrifice. It could be as simple as paying them a phone call, writing them a letter, or a long email, or cooking dinner because you know they have a lot on their plate. What's something new I can try today? Of course, humans never evolve if they don't take risks. And if we don't take a risk today, when will we? Instead of aiming for monumental endeavors, consider something small you can change about your day or routine to open yourself up to a new experience you're not sure you'll like. Listen to a new playlist, cook a new dish, text someone you haven't in a while, or attempt a new hobby. Pay attention to how you feel. Will I remember this day a year from now? The answer for most of us, most days, is no. And not only is this important to realize, it's also freeing. Instead of worrying about whether we failed or succeeded, enjoyed ourselves or didn't, realizing that we probably will not remember this specific day, even in the immediate future, helps us from a bit of the pressure to make it absolutely perfect. What could I do to make this day memorable? With that said, some days are simply more memorable than others. If we make a concerted effort to challenge ourselves or rewrite our story in a small but meaningful way, 
we can turn an ordinary day into one that has an impact for a long time to come. That's all we have for you today. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos like this. Thank you for watching. Till next time.